you look up there you can see a couple of batteries up there has a couple of doors here that you can open up you can see they look like about three quarter inch plate I think they were originally off of a battleship or something it has a big latch there so you can latch them closed from inside and this this whole square box on the back is the fuel tank it holds a lot of fuel Let's go around the other side here you notice the frame rails on the carrier are I believe they're 30 inches deep and the, the entire machine is pretty pretty massively constructed this is the uh, they don't put a plate or anything on here, all they do is weld the serial number right onto the uh, frame, 5754, and it's upside down. And up there we have the swing mechanism, frictions, brakes. Up there is the tag line. You can see the uh, engine hose there, so pretty thick plate as well. The chain case. We'll take a wander around to the front here. So this is the tag line. This just basically controls your grapple from swinging around. And it pulls it in toward the machine. And you can see the pulley in there, shiv. The main line goes through there and that closes the grapple. And then the holding line is just attached to the top and that just supports the grapple and when the holding line is holding the grapple it opens it and we'll look you lift the log up and you'd grab the log uh, close to the end and when it lifts it hits the bottom of the heel boom and then you can lift it onto the truck and control one end all the time Maybe we'll go upstairs and look at the office. See, Washington thoughtfully provided a step here for us to climb up on. So I got all my tools up here. Okay might get a kick out of this nice medill deco that's on my toolbox they're getting hard to find 